Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We've got some shocking news in the world of Hollywood couples. Jennifer Lopez has officially filed for divorce from Ben Affleck. While some might say this was inevitable, there are some major twists that make this story even more surprising. J. Lo filed for divorce on Tuesday in LA County Superior Court. But here's the kicker, she didn't use a lawyer. That's right, Jennifer filed pro per, which means she did it all by herself, without any legal representation. What's even more symbolic is the date she chose to file. J. Lo listed the date of separation as April 26, 2024. Now, if you remember, the couple tied the knot in Las Vegas on July 16, 2022. But here's where it gets interesting. Today, August 20th, marks the second anniversary of their more traditional wedding ceremony held in Georgia. So it seems like no coincidence that Jennifer decided to file on this significant date in Benefer's history. Now, here's where things get even more complicated. There's no mention of a prenuptial agreement in the legal docs, and sources close to the couple have confirmed to TMZ that there actually isn't one. This means that everything they've earned or profited from during their nearly two-year marriage is considered community property. Now you might be thinking, how could two people with so much experience in the entertainment industry, not to mention multiple marriages between them, not have a prenup? It seems they believed their love was forever, but unfortunately, it didn't turn out that way. According to the documents, Jennifer has waived any request for spousal support and is also asking the judge to deny Ben the same. Since they don't have any children together, there are no custody issues to sort out. But here's the final twist. Despite the divorce filing, it seems the couple hasn't fully hashed out their financial settlement. They put their Beverly Hills marital home up for sale. Ben purchased his own place in Brentwood and Jennifer is currently house hunting as well. While they've been trying to reach a settlement for months, sources say the negotiations have become increasingly hostile with the two often not even speaking to each other. So, why did J. Lo decide to file now while the money issues are still unresolved? Well, even though filing first doesn't matter legally in a no-fault state like California, sometimes the person who files first can gain a PR advantage. That's all for now. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates on this developing story. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Did you see this coming or are you just as shocked as we are? Stay tuned.